Welcome. TFT Tarot for Today, Divine Dabblings with Oberon and Banshee. This is me, Oberon, Goth Tarot. My short weekly look into the shadow philosophies, the emotional issues, feelings, signs or portents that come to you that you can relate to from that darker perspective. To do that, I pull a number of cards from three different decks, all to give you that, those little bits of information or emotional insight you need to understand how this week will go. So the first pull is from the Crow's Magic Tarot. Your Dark Gift. Your dark gift is the insights or tools, powers or abilities, feelings you have that give you strength and help you understand what it means to walk your path and also what it means to walk with other people who may not understand your path. So what is that dark gift? The Four of Coins, Upright. Your dark gift says you know what it means to want, to need, to feel insecure, to feel remote, to feel like everything you have, you must clutch onto as tightly as possible, lest it be taken away. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the dark struggles the challenges or limitations you find this week. How do those help you understand your darkness? How do those help you understand the ways you can cope? For that, I'm going to use the Gothic Tarot. The Knight of Wands reversed. The Seven of Swords upright. There's a feeling that you're playing a game that you're trying to outmaneuver or be more clever than somebody. It may be that there are certain things you need to keep hidden until you're ready to really deploy as forces or strategies. It could be that you're mostly dealing with somebody who is playing this game with you. The game suggests that in some ways they want to out-clever you but they can't really do that. You seem to have more intelligence than them. It could very well be that they present as a friend or somebody who could be an ally, but they're not really like that. And so what you will find is that in this week, you're just going to have to figure out how you can actually do for yourself. It doesn't necessarily mean breaking a law or doing something really out of character in 
in you and that person or that situation's um, ongoing, but you're going to have to figure out how you can do certain things for yourself with that. Uh, they really do present as somebody that I suppose uh, will not be helpful at all. Okay, so finally for the last part of the reading, we're going to move on to the Night Sun Tarot. We're going to ask three questions. What is your dark truth? What is your dark sacrifice? What is your dark redemption? your dark truth, the reality that is oppressing but still able to give you information to relate what you may still be able to do. Two of Pentacles reversed. It's really hard to control everything that's going on right now for you. It almost feels like this is just a week of no pass and you're just going to have to wait again. It could feel like there's a, a dam or a well that's about to break and that maybe something will kind of pull through, but right now it looks like in the immediate sense, there's some hardship here. And it's a hardship that's based on how well you can handle all these aspects in your life. A lot of things are welling up and very turbulent. And your best bet is to take one thing at a time. The dark sacrifice. The nine of swords reversed. This card has come up a lot in some of the readings on Goth Tarot. So I'm feeling it, it indicates that for the goth crowd, there's, there's an ongoing problem with being able to understand the boundaries of reasonable sorrow for you. And that a lot of the things that you're letting bother you they're not really your problem. You have a big heart, but sometimes you have to learn how to figure out where it ends at, what you can do to keep it in perspective, because without that, you're just going to go crazy. You're bearing the sorrow of the world, and no one can compete with that. Nobody can resolve that. So it's really like an impossible standard that you're putting on yourself and that you need to figure out a better way of dealing with that. 
So finally, the dark realization, the dark redemption. The moon, upright. I think this moon says it's lunar and that you may actually need literally a whole month, one lunar month, to get through this current doldrum that's going on, these cosmic doldrums you're experiencing. And once you can do that, put that aside for several weeks, wait until the moon changes better for you. Look into your own heart and the hearts of others because you will find that your greatest strengths are still always going to be with those who care for you the most as you care for them. You're not alone. The moon brings fortune. So wait for it. And that's what I have for Goth Tarot. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next week.